Our next guest has a personal reason for his research and development of a wheelchair technology that is operated only by the eyes. John Sexton, welcome to Notre Dame and Notre Dame Day 2021. Thank you, Vahid. Great to be here. Well, give us your uh, introduction, if you would. Yeah, so my name is John Sexton. I'm a sophomore electrical engineering major living in Dillon Hall, and I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. All right, so you have helped in developing something called eye driving. Sounds interesting. Tell us what it is. Yeah, so for disabled individuals who have lost their mobility and independence, eye driving is a solution that allows for them to fully control their power wheelchair with their eyes. So whether that's driving the power wheelchair, adjusting their seating position, adjusting their speed, and even something as simple as turning the wheelchair on and off, you can control the power wheelchair fully with your eyes. Incredible. You have a personal connection. I hear that spurred your interest in assisted, uh, assistive technology. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So my dad, uh, who graduated from Notre Dame in, in 88, uh, was diagnosed with ALS six years ago. And ALS is a neuromuscular disease that slowly takes away your ability to move, to talk, and to breathe. And so about four years ago, he and I started to work on eye driving once he realized that he was losing mobility in his hand. And so he no longer could safely drive the wheelchair. So throughout high school, he and I worked together to build a solution that worked for him and also worked for my mom as his primary caregiver to allow him to have an improved quality of life and also to increase his independence. Because with a disease like ALS or other neuromuscular diseases, quality of life and independence are the most critical factors to wanting to keep fighting. And so I hope to share that same technology, that same quality of life and independence with others who are going through similar situations. Yeah, that's just incredible. What are the next steps uh, in the development of this technology? Yeah, so I've been working with the Grand Challenges Scholars Program here at Notre Dame to do research, work on the business side of things, do some interdisciplinary coursework, service, and some other experiences as well. And right now we are almost done with our second prototype, our second iteration of the prototype, which should be working and hopefully we'll be beta testing with other patients, you know, by the end of the summer, early fall. And we're in a lot of programs and in the McCloskey Venture Prize competition at the Idea Center. So we've gotten lots of mentorship and help there as well. Um, moving the business side of things along because I'm an electrical engineer, I'm on the technical side of things. So learning the business side of things is what we've been mainly doing right now. And, you know, being a semifinalist for McCloskey, we can have the opportunity to get funding and to really move forward as we go on to the Race to Revenue summer program at the Idea Center this summer. So I'll be working full time on this for the summer. I know you said your father uh, was a graduate of Notre Dame. Before we go, tell us uh, about your family's deep connection to the university. Yeah, definitely. So my dad was uh, undergrad, graduated in 1988. And then my mom also went here for grad school, and she graduated in 1991. And then both of them actually worked here for 10 years after they graduated. So my dad built the first network here. So he went in all the buildings and wired them, and my mom worked on the second website uh, for Notre Dame, actually, and, you know, worked in Hesburgh behind me. Um, and, you know, my dad was also in the band. I, I'm a tuba player in the marching band. You know, shout out to, to all the band people watching. And, you know, being a part of that community with the band and being a part of the Notre Dame community has always been a huge part of my life um, from both of my parents' experiences here. And, you know, Notre Dame's been home since I was born. So having that deep family connection made it so much easier to, you know, decide to come here, but also, you know, the support and really just the great community we have here is something that I'll cherish forever. Well, John, you are, uh, your drive and your passion is the reason uh, why Notre Dame is what it is. And thank you so much for being on Notre Dame Day this year. Thank you so much.